Hey, Andy from DIY Band, and today we're going to be looking at setting up your MIDI keyboard. Hi guys, right here we go. We are going to be looking at installing this thing here. So I've taken the liberty of finding which way up my USB goes already and plug that in. Uh, so let's plug this in. It's a good noise. We have a light. We have light that moves. <laughs> um, and now let's go through and have a look about installing this with uh, Zymewave. So let uh, let's go to set up here audio MIDI and MIDI and there we go so that is popped up here uh, well Panda Mini which is the keyboard that I have or MIDI controller or whatever it is you wish to call it um, let's apply all settings here okay so what I'm gonna do is start a new arrangement here um, Add a new track. I tell you what, before I do any of this, I'm just gonna add uh, the recorder so you can actually hear what it is uh, the keyboard will be doing. Chuck that to voice meter, hit start, boom, lovely. Okay, so, um, so in here now, if I hit MIDI input, and choose a VST, so source, we use instruments, let's use good old keyboard. <laughs> Straight out of the box. Nice. Yeah, that's showing off now. Um, okay, well that's simple as, isn't it? I uh, wonder if this comes with all the channels in here as well. It does. So I'm going to check this to channel 1. Because with, um, with keyboards that have a pad, uh, you'll usually find that they are sending a signal through channel 10. So if we hit channel 10 here, as you can see I've got a load of, of pads here with uh, RGB, RGB bits, but at the moment they're not doing anything. So if we add a drum kit in there. Lovely job. Well, as you can hear, they're, they're pressure sensitive as well. So, so if you really hit it, it really goes. Um, same with keys, I think. Great, great keyboard skills here. So there's a couple of buttons here, which I will assume changes uh, the uh, part of the piano you're playing. So let's do a C. Yeah, exactly that. doesn't change these pads I'm just trying out. Um, so these pads will I assume be focused on a certain note so if we have a look in here and settings so we can see the snare there that will be hitting this then so D1 is what it will be assigned to or 38 <laughs> Um, okay, so I'm not sure if these are actually going to do anything out of the box. Doesn't seem to be doing anything in there. Doesn't seem to be doing anything in there. Okay, so out of the box, they are don't they don't seem to be doing anything. Um, 
I did see if you, you could change the colour of these pads. So if you hit CC mode and then push your arrow, your pink, blue, well cyan, yellow, white, green, red, proper blue, and that's the end of it there. Um, I've not used a, well, I've not owned a MIDI keyboard before, so I can't tell you whether it's good or bad or or what. It is a cheap option. It's not one of the expensive ones. Um, but for what I need it for and how often I'm going to use it, it's going to be pretty okay, I think. I just need to, be, it's just much easier than having to key in everything. Like manually. I can just, uh, well, what I could do is I can just hit record and maybe zoom out. Hit record in there and then I can play. So, um, so then that's recorded it and then what I could do is I could go into here and then I could like quantize everything to a 13, uh, th 132 quantize which doesn't actually sit right so let's quantize that to the start of the bar. And obviously I didn't have a metronome going on, so I don't, I don't know what I didn't do it exactly to 120. But if I did, then obviously I would, you'd be able to hit that in there. And obviously you could still go ahead and edit and add extra notes in. Um, but that's how you'd set it up. So there you go. Uh, just remember that your, your MIDI channel one will be your keys, um, and then channel ten is your pads. Now, what will happen, uh, let me just show you, for instance, what would happen if I change this just to normal MIDI in. So I've still got the keys going on. And then... It's no good to anyone, really. Um, if I still had this set to... MIDI 10, I guess, and I would hear keys and uh, keys and piano. Which is uh, useless as well. So we'll chuck that in number one, then we're all good to go, so we can have both. think it is <laughs> so uh there we go thanks again for tuning in andy from diy band um if you haven't subscribed already please check out my other videos and then see whether it's worth you subscribing or not but i bet it will be especially if you use uh pine wave, pine wave zodium that's correct zine wave podium um, i've got tons of videos of most like loads of knowledge in there and there's not really anyone else doing it at all. Um, so most of the videos if you search for Zyber Pony you'll find one. Uh, so why not be the first one to see them by subscribing. Uh, thanks again and to do our work back. See you next time.